So in this video, I'm going to introduce the concept of a passive attenuator. So a passive attenuator is going to be used when you want to lower um, the signal level, a voltage level from a source going into some form of a receiver. So say a microphone going into a preamplifier. So if we look at a basic um, passive attenuator in the form of a potential divider, this R1, R2, this is our zero volts, and this is our V in. If we take the output here, then we can state that the V out is equal to a ratio of these resistors. So this is our resistor of interest, R2. So we have R2 on the top. And we have R1 plus R2 on the bottom, V in. So as you can see from this equation, as we uh, change the um, ratios of R2 and R1, we can get a varying voltage output. Now we can think of this in a different way. If we say, um, if, we, if we consider a, a, an attenuation coefficient, so if we say if we want to attenuate by um, a factor of two, or a factor of three, or a factor of four, etc. This is something that we can then use to calculate specific values for series and shunt resistors when we think about this in a in a balanced form. So if we want to um, attach it to a microphone, what I mean by that is we could also express this as uh, say k equals one plus uh, r one over r two. Um, let's, for example, if we if we made R1 equal 1K and R2 equal 1K, we can see that K in this case would be 2. What this says is this is going to be our attenuation coefficient, so we're going to attenuate the signal by 2 times. And indeed, if we put 1K divided by 1K plus 1K into this equation here, we will see that we get half, so we are getting half the voltage output that we put in, i.e. our attenuation coefficient, is 2. If we consider, if we now call this the series resistor and this the shunt resistor, if we consider what that might look like in a balanced system, it might look like this. So we have our RS, we have our R shunt, and we have our another RS here. So this is our signal here. Maybe that's coming from a microphone. Okay, and this here is our V out. So this is V in plus being negative. If we want to calculate specific values now for this as a balanced attenuator, we do this in, in, in exactly the same way and we can, we can adopt this uh, formula here. Usually the attenuation is given in uh, dBs, so you might want to achieve 20 dBs attenuation, so let's just use that as an example. So we want a 20 dB attenuator so the first thing we need to do is think, okay, we need to convert this 20 dBs into um, ratio or uh, a uh, attenuation value. So the way we can do this um, is we can say, if we think about what what gain is in dBs. So if we, if we sort of rewrite this 20 dBs is 20 log... Uh, usually with these situations, V out over V in. Uh, so this is kind of our, um, the voltage we get out uh, in, in ratio to the voltage we put in. So this is our, actually our gain factor that we need to find. So uh, using, if we rearrange this formula, 10 to the power of um, dB value. So in this case, 20 divided by... 20, this uh, number will pop out as 10. So this 10 relates to 
the um, amplification factor, if you like, that we need to reduce. So that you consider this as a ratio. So this might be uh, te 10 volts in, we get one volt out. Um, so this is our attenuation coefficient, K. So what we can do is we can choose now a value that we want for our shunt resistor and then working backwards based on this equation here, R1 over R2, we can find values for RS. So for example in this case we would write 10 equals 1 plus RS over R shunt. And we can see that eventually we bring this 1 over there that will become 9 equals we end up with a ratio that we need to establish. So where do we start? Well, we, we could start, we could choose a series register if we want to, but the uh, the most easiest way is to say, pick a, a value for our shunt. Now, if we think about this as a system, we've usually got our microphone. This then connects to the pad. And then this pad possibly going to be connected to transformer or usually an electronically balanced input. Um, so if we maybe just read that's our yeah the lop amp. Um, so the, what we've got to think about is the matching of this shunt resistor to this system here. We've got to think that this pad is either going to be switched in i.e. it's going to be in circuit or it's going to be switched out completely bypassed and this is switched out what does this electronically balanced in see well it well it sees the the microphone directly so it makes sense for us to choose a value of the shunt resistor which is similar or matches the microphone itself as a starting point so this microphone uh, let's say it's a low impedance mic let's say it's 150 ohms this will be the value that I would choose for my shunt resistor. Now, the microphone sees this ent entire pad, and if we think about what it sees, it sees this series resistor, this shunt resistor, and this series resistor. Now, general rule of thumb uh, for voltage transfer is to make the impedance of the receiver 10 times that of the sender. So. Uh, if this is 150, I would look to um, make these the sum of these three resistors. So that's R, uh, 2RS plus R shunt to be approximately 1500 ohms. Okay, now we've also got a little trick that we can do. We can put a little termination, parallel terminator here. On this uh, balanced in and if I choose that one to be say 1500 to 2k then it ensures that this impedance here tends towards this value and matches the pad and then the pad itself matches the microphone so you have a, a complete system that we've we've now established